Okay, I've got Pepper out and she's come in for our two week in-house training. So I want to put a little bit on tape, show you where she started off at. She's a little bit of a wild child, you know, she needs some calm. <laughs> um, I, I, I'm not having too many problems so far. We are, we're not jumping on me. That's good. Um, you know, as far as that goes. So, uh, I think overall she just kind of going to need some of those basics. So let's see what she knows. Hey, Oh, I know. Come on. Let's go see what we know. Nope. Good. Good. Bouncy, but not bad. Staying with me. That's pretty good. Until we get distracted by the ground, we're going to have to teach a leave it. Pepper. Pepper. Good. Sit. Good girl. Let's try treats. You want to see what you, if you like my treats? Oh, yums, yums. Good. Oh, okay. All right. So I may not be having all of Pepper's personality yet, you know. Um, so far, she's actually pretty easy to handle. So that's going to be a plus in her favor because that means things will move along nicely. Um, but sometimes these teenage kids at eight months old show their real true colors after day two or three. So <laughs> we'll see how it goes. But so far, I don't see any issues other than the leave it. Um, you know, I'm liking that I'm not getting the jumps, which you said she does tend to, tend to have a problem with. So overall, I think she's going to do just fine. So we'll put her up. And we'll get her back out into week one and see how she's doing then. Hey, I've got Pepper out. She's been here for a week, so I want to put a little bit on tape, show you where she's at. She's doing good, you know. Quit. <laughs> um, overall, I think she's coming along nicely. It looks like she's really had some work done with her. It looks like you've done some things. She's really coming along fast on sit and even on stay. So that's nice. Um, we're getting the jumping a little bit more under control. That's just, you know, another one of those that... Um, you know, it's an annoying fact of a poodle or a doodle. They're all jumpers. So, um, you know, that's, that's the trait that doodles get from poodles actually. And it's control, you know, it's knowing when to correct and where to correct as far as that goes. So this next week we'll go inside and start greeting everybody inside to kind of make that a little bit better. But overall, I think she's doing a really nice job. All right. You ready, Pep? Pepper. Hey, ready? Okay, let's go. Good. Stay. No. Okay. Pepper gets excited about treats and releases, so sometimes she gets treats and sometimes she doesn't. You have to really watch, because I'm not trying to bribe her into doing something, but at the same time, if she's too excited and doesn't finish the task, then we don't want to keep up with that. Good girl. Pepper. Sit. Good. Let's go. Pepper, sit. Good. Stay. Good boy, okay. Good, let's go. Pepper. Good. Let's go. Now we get a little excited over the get it come game. So this is something I've really been working on.
which is what this game is about. It's about come and making it fun, but it's also about getting them ramped up so we learn to sit down and control ourselves. Get it? Pepper, come. Hurry. Good. Get it. Pepper, come. Good. Get it. Pepper, come. Hurry. Good. Get it. Pepper, come. Hurry. Good boy. Well, that was much better. Yeah, he's getting excited, but he's not jumping all over me, so that's good. Sometimes I don't get that. <laughs> Sometimes I have to put my foot out or kind of make him woe up a little faster to make sure that he's paying attention. <laughs> Here, sit. Good. So overall, he's doing a nice job. You know, we haven't had too many issues. Um, you know, getting that consistency in has been key, and he's doing really well. We've got another week to go, so we're going to put him up and we'll get him back out at the end of week two.